slide by Eddie Kane Jr.'s channel. Let me see. Eddie Kane Jr. Eddie Kane Jr. Eddie Kane Jr. Why that sounds familiar? Get over here. Um, Eddie Kane Jr., I'm letting you know right motherfucking ass. When I record my laugh and go put it on no YouTube channel, and I'm not playing. Ain't no secret. Should do Eddie Kane Jr. Like, share, subscribe. If you subscribe to me, leave a comment down the post. I'm a sub back to you. Rit, 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 rit. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, my people. Y'all know why we here on uh, Renegades, man. So, first and foremost, shout out to Loyalty and Betrayal, man. Like, if y'all haven't, go subscribe to her channel, man. She definitely, she right now in the process, she's having a series of breaking down um, the transcripts from the old Block 6 trial new information coming out like every time she uh does one of these readings so what i just gleaned from this last one she was talking about on her previous video it's about our dude cooperator one trenches news you know what i'm saying um and we already know trenches news he said that his connection to kenny mack was they were uh they were sellies you know what i'm saying um they got out and they kept in contact. But, always a but. Trench's news failed to reveal one thing. He has another connection to Kenny Mack. And then for y'all, y'all know catch up. He's one of the uh, FBG, FBG Duck Killers. Trench's news sister, Ashley Wiley, was one of the girlfriends of Kenny Mack. You know what I'm talking about? So. It's another, this another link for Trenches News and Kenny Mack, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, and, and Ashley, Ashley Wiley is also known as Witness 8 in the O Block 6 paperwork, you know what I'm saying? The transcripts. And she got tied in when the, um, when the police, when they impounded Kenny Mack's Chrysler 300 that was used on the FBG duck hit, um, Kenny Mack himself called the police, tried to get the car back. Ashley Wiley called and tried to get the car back on Kenny Mack's behalf. Now this the thing, man, like, it's like the government got, they got it set up. And I'm not saying it's just a setup, but they got it on both sides, man. They got Trenches News, Cooperative One, he on the, he on the um, 63rd side, then you got old girl Ashley Wiley. She on the BD side. You know what I'm saying? Not even, she's on the opposite side. You know what I'm saying? Because I think Kenny Mack a GD. I mean, that's here nor there. Kenny Mack was hanging with the BD. So they got Ashley Wiley on the BD side. You know what I'm saying? So this is something that just hasn't been brought to light. And I'm just want to get this out there further. Lord T. Material put it out. I want to put this out too, man. Like, that's something huge. And it, I'm definitely thinking, and like she said, this definitely can be like reasons for like the way they're handling it, the way that case was handled. First of all, the trial was like just, you know what I'm saying, comedy, you know what I'm saying? Like it's something I've never seen before. Similar to how YSL Woody on the stand, just clowning and doing what he want to do, shrugging, show all that. This was held the same way. I've never seen like a, a, a major trial held like this, so. It's looking like them boys might be able to come around on the pill. You know what I'm saying? Am I saying they're going to win? No. But the way that this, this case was handled and just conflicts of interest and they've never revealed, it's never come out. It, it takes people like, you know what I'm saying, Lords of Betrayal to actually glean through the information so that we can actually see. I didn't even know Trish of News had a sister. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even really be uh, speaking on people's family. You know what I'm saying? Except if they involved, she's involved in this. You know what I'm saying? She's in the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Like, she got on a shiesty mask like like uh, her brother. You know what I'm talking about? Like, they both got matching shiesty. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's brazy, man. But, hey, as more things come out, Renegades, I'm going to bring them to you, man. I should do Eddie Kane Jr. You ain't no Renegade. Hit that sub button. You want to join us on the low-key cooperator free mission. Hit that join button. Welcome to the Renegades. Dude. Look at it. Kareem Akbar. That's right, the educated brother from the bank. He's the real head of the CMB, the brains behind the whole thing. 
I told you, this thing is bigger than Nino Brown, and I got a list of proof. If I'm going down, I'm taking a whole lot of people with me.